What if the serpent in Genesis wasn't a literal snake? This reevaluation of the story of Adam and Eve could change your understanding of this ancient narrative. The book of Genesis, central to both Judaism and Christianity, contains foundational stories that have shaped religious thought for millennia. Among these is the tale of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, where a cunning serpent tempts Eve to eat the forbidden fruit, leading to humanity's fall from grace. Traditionally, this serpent is viewed as a literal snake, a symbol of deceit and temptation. But what if this character has been misinterpreted? In Genesis 3, 1, the serpent is introduced with the Hebrew word Nahash, which is typically translated as serpent or snake in most English versions of the Bible. However, Hebrew is a complex language. Nahash can also mean a diviner or one who practices enchantment, suggesting a being with supernatural knowledge or powers. Some scholars propose that the serpent was a divine being. This interpretation suggests the serpent possessed profound wisdom, making the temptation of Eve a complex interaction involving divine knowledge and human free will. In many ancient cultures, serpents symbolized chaos and disorder. The serpent in Genesis could represent disruptive forces, challenging divine order and testing humanity's obedience. Another view is that the serpent embodies the inner conflict between obedience to God and the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. This interpretation highlights the moral and philosophical dimensions of the story, suggesting the serpent represents human curiosity and the desire for self-determination. The act of eating the forbidden fruit symbolizes the transition from innocence to understanding, from blind obedience to conscious choice. Understanding the serpent as more than a literal snake transforms our interpretation of the Genesis story. If the serpent is a divine rebel or a symbol of chaos, the narrative becomes a richer tale of divine human interaction, the quest for knowledge, and the struggle between order and chaos. In Genesis 3, 4, 5, the serpent tells Eve, You will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The serpent in Genesis is not just a deceiver, but possibly a divine being, a symbol of chaos, or a metaphor for human curiosity.